Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for September. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep in mind this reading is for September. Okay, it's being recorded in August so it may not resonate the day that you watch it if you watch it in August. Okay, so a lot of people don't get that and that's why i got to keep explaining it. So I do apologize, but your messages are coming quick. Something may be happening very quick in September. Okay, something may be happening very, very quickly. I see the Eight of Wands first off, which is something moving forward very quickly. Triumphant news arriving, messages arriving, uh, messages going back and forth, probably positive messages. Um, and then I see, I see the Judgment card, which is an awakening, the truth. Um, you could be being guided from somebody from the other side, maybe guiding you to communicate with somebody. You may be being pushed in a direction, you know, from somebody from the other side. They may be giving you messages to, to do something. Maybe you're receiving that message. I saw the Two of Wands as well. The Two of Wands is the moment of decision. You're at this crossroads. You have an opportunity uh, during this month to make a decision that could move you forward in a positive direction. That you, you may be going through some sort of awakening. Maybe it's some sort of epiphany with that judgment card that, you know, is divinely guided. Okay, you may, you know, somebody from the other side may give you a message. You may receive the message that pushes you in another direction, pushes you towards something that, you know, is going to impact your future in a positive way. Put it that way. I think it is very positive. Ten of Pentacles, you may be moving home. This could build your up your prosperity. It could build up your abundance. It could make you feel very comfortable. You could be moving into somebody's home or somebody could be moving into your home or somebody could be moving out of your home or whatever. I don't know what it is, but there's movement. And it's positive movement, whatever it is. Um, whatever this is, it's going to bring you some sort of security. Okay? It's going to bring some sort of... I think it's going to bring you inner security. And I think it's also going to bring you some sort of financial security. It's going to make you feel very comfortable. It's definitely going to happen fast because I see the Knight of Wands. If you are single, somebody could be coming into your life very, very quickly. Or you could be going into their life very, very quickly. This is like, there's no time to waste. It's like, it's happening. It's happening now. Right now. It's happening quickly. So whatever is happening, it's happening fast. Um... I see the world card now. So I think that you have a major new beginning here. Perhaps you have just closed out a cycle. Maybe you've learned some sort of life lesson or you've closed out a chapter or a phase of your life. And now you're about to step onto a new horizon or a new beginning here. So you have a major new beginning here, Cancer. And I think it's very, very positive. And wherever it is that you're going, it leads towards something victorious. With the Ten of Pentacles... And the world card, this is in the Eight of Wands. It's very positive, whatever it is. Um, and I, the sun, I just saw the sun. So happiness, a lot of happiness. Extreme. So September is apparently going to be a very warm, happy month where you may just be right in your glory. Um, it's very, and positive. The sun is very positive. It, that was That's why I saw it. It was clarifying the word positive for me. This is very, <laughs> oh God, I just saw the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is deep fulfillment is coming. Something happy, very happy. So, you know, you could be connecting with a deep love connection, okay? When you get the Nine of Cups, there could be a deep love or a wish being granted. Oh, boy, that is pretty damn positive. Pretty damn positive, Cancer. So... I don't know what's going on for you, but it looks really good. Um, the hair of fun. Maybe you're getting into a commitment. Could be with a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But this is a commitment. This is, um, that's what it is. It's a commitment. This is believing in yourself. This is following your own path. This is listening to your inner guide. Um, this is a card of faith and trust. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus, but this is a commitment of some sort. Could be with a Taurus. I'm not sure. Um, but this is, I mean, this is also a very, 
um, this is kind of like heaven sent, whatever this is. It's like a gift from God, whatever it is. Ooh, um, chariots on the bottom. So that's you. So Cancer, Taurus. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I think that you are absolutely positively heading in the right direction. And whatever this is, um, I, this is also a teacher. If, if this isn't you, this is a teacher. This is, you know, I think, and with the world card, I think a lesson has been learned. Some sort of lesson has been learned. And there's movement with that chariot. So you, I'm not sure if somebody is arriving or you're getting in your vehicle or there's like some sort of meetup or something like that. Um, five of wands. We got some power struggles here. We got a battle going on. There's a little bit of tension here. Seven of pentacles. Um, unreal, dissatisfied. Somebody is not satisfied or they haven't been. <clears throat> Queen of wands. Five of cups. Sad. Grieving. Somebody is grieving. There could have been another woman involved. Because this queen of wands can signify another woman. You know, a third party situation perhaps. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This, But this could also be an energy of confidence, high confidence. Let's see what we got here. Nine of Wands, avoiding challenge. King of Wands reversed. The Fool starting fresh, starting from scratch. We got some sadness up here with that Five of Cups. Somebody is grieving. So there could be a loss, okay? And I don't think this loss has happened yet, okay? Because that is right around the corner. It hasn't happened yet. Feeling defeated. Somebody may be feeling defeated. Seven of Swords. Be careful. Getting caught. Six of Pentacles. Lack of reciprocation. Rejection. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got somebody else. That's exactly what this is. Okay, I got it. All right. Um, so we have a rejection. We have a rejection here, probably from another person. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got somebody else that is meant for you. This is somebody that, and this rejection could go vice versa. It could be, to be with the person that you are dealing with or the person that, or you, Okay. So somebody has been rejected probably by a fire sign and there's a there's a perfect match here. This is uh, divinely orchestrated and this is not who you think it is. This is somebody that is a little bit odd to you. Somebody that is probably not your usual type, but it's meant to be. So I feel like you have um, your challenge is is that you've been avoiding challenge. OK, this is avoiding challenge. And that is in your challenge position. There could be some hard feelings here. You may be having some hard feelings. You may be feeling conflicted or dealing with some tension or struggling within yourself about uh, having faith in a commitment because sevens are faith and there's lack of faith here and that is needing to have faith and trust. The Emperor reversed down here. There's chaos. There's a, a, a desire to control. Uh, things may seem like they're out of control. Maybe you need to let go of the need to control or the person that you're dealing with does. Um, there's been some sort or there's going to be some or there has been. I think there has been a rejection of another person. And we have somebody here. There could be a loss. Okay, there could be definitely be a loss of... of concentration a loss of focus things could be a little disorderly and I think they could be because somebody acted impulsively or somebody's been trying to really 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 control the outcome these are both very controlling energies we have somebody here that may have self-esteem issues they may have insecurities within themselves this person is reluctant to probably get in a commitment because they don't want to relinquish control I feel that's, that's probably who you, it's either you or the person that you're dealing with. We have some anger. This is anger. Both of these. We have some anger over uh, a rejection. So I'm not sure if it's you or the person that you're dealing with. But there's an opportunity for a fresh start. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody that you are meant to be with. 
but this is not the person that rejected you. Okay, this person is your match. So I feel like you have an unexpected opportunity to get in a commitment with somebody that you didn't even see it coming. I feel like th this is love heals. This person can help you to heal, but you're going to have to let go of the baggage. This is not take any of that baggage of whoever this other person was with you. That person may have brought chaos into your life. They may have... Um, cheated on you i'm not sure what they did this is they could they may have cheated they may have cheated on the other person because i think i really feel like this could be vice versa and i don't say that much often but i feel like this um there's a lot of struggling over accepting a new love offer whether it's you or the other person because somebody is afraid of of you know being controlled somebody is really afraid of being controlled again they don't want to be controlled because there's been control issues here um, I think that there's some something that is, 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 is some truth is going to come out. Okay, if somebody has been cheating or they have been lying, the truth is going to come out and it may make somebody really angry, whether it's you or the other person. Um, there may have been a third party situation with another woman or another man, even another person, a woman or a man. I think that, you know, somebody hasn't been telling the truth and the truth is going to come out and it's going to give you the opportunity to go down a new path with somebody else okay that's what i think this is so i feel like you probably have a, an opportunity that you totally didn't expect and i think that it could lead to a lot of happiness because you remember the cards that we just started out with before these cards came out it could lead to a lot of happiness and healing the sun card is also healing and i see healing here so I feel like you have an opportunity to start fresh with somebody after some sort of loss. Okay, whether you've experienced loss or the person that you're dealing with have, has experienced a loss. I think this loss is going to bring you together with your perfect match. Okay, this is, this is meant to be. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, you're, the person that you probably were dealing with or the person you are dealing with now that is that is unexpectedly, you know, you have a connection with. I think they were probably dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or you. Somebody was dealing with a fire sign that just wasn't meant to be. And they and they have, somebody has a new lover here that is meant to be. And I, but the, but the challenge is 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 taking down that barrier, you know, getting somebody to let their walls down and trust, you know, because there's some sort of level of, I don't have faith in this, I don't trust this. Somebody may have invested some time in the past, and you know, it didn't grow the way it was supposed to, and they don't want to sink again. You know, they don't want to sink. They don't want to get into any quicksand. You know, so somebody is very reluctant, and they got to guard up because you know of the past rejection whether it's you or the other person but i feel as though you are headed towards a very strong commitment that could you know well we'll leave that right there i if that could lead to a lot of prosperity abundance i mean maybe even forever with that ten of pentacles okay so this ten of swords this is dropping a burden um, making a conscious change to let go of control somebody has to let go of control and go with the flow okay um four of cups not realizing we got somebody here that is over analyzing really really con really really contemplating a loss not realizing that they really have an opportunity for love here um very feeling very regretful i think we have somebody here that is is feeling regretful over not focusing not um taking action when they should have eight of swords we have somebody here that is trapped somebody that is in it as confining themselves protecting themselves Somebody is letting their own thoughts confine them to the, a situation that
doesn't really serve them. Justice, getting what you deserve. It's time. It's time for you to get what you deserve. This is a final, this is finality. Finality. Doing the right thing. Acting with integrity. This right here is getting what you deserve. You're about to get what you deserve. You're, you have an opportunity for a new beginning here. Whoever you are dealing with is very attractive. This person is fair. This person is honest. This person is afraid, though. This person is afraid of getting hurt. This person is afraid of letting their guard down because they were so controlled in the past. Yeah. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, that is uh, saying goodbye. Somebody really hurt another person. Somebody left a person and has caused a person to be very conflicted, has caused a person to not trust or believe in, in love. We have somebody here that is feeling like I, I'm, I'd rather be alone because I don't, I don't, I don't want to get hurt again. We got somebody here that is really, really protecting themselves because another person involved another person in the past and now they don't trust. But anyway, um, I think that you're ready. I think that you're very self-sufficient or whoever you're dealing with. Whoever you're dealing with um, has a lot to offer or you have a lot to offer. We have somebody here that is very um, comfortable. This person, it could be a, you could be dealing with somebody who has their own business. This could be a business owner. This person has money in the bank. This person is very capable. This person is self-sufficient. This person knows their value. I think that you are coming into contact with somebody that is ready. Well, maybe they're not ready. One person is ready. Somebody's not ready. Okay, somebody is really hurt. Somebody is really, really hurt. They're mentally trapped. But we got somebody here that is ready. Somebody is not going to be single for much longer. This person is very comfortable. Oh, okay, I got it. This person is very comfortable on their own. They don't need another person. And that's a self-protection tactic. This person can take care of themselves very, very well. They have grown self-sufficient through pain. So somebody's walking away has made another person love their independence. So it's going to be hard to get this person to open up. Yeah, exactly. This person is like, no, I don't want a relationship. I'm good. I'm absolutely good. I don't want to be swept off my feet and dropped later. I don't want to be controlled. So I think that you are probably, either this is you or the person that you're dealing with, I think that there's an opportunity for happiness here, but getting somebody to let their walls down and give up their independence, independence is going to be the challenge, whether it's you or the other person. I do feel as though if you have been alone, if you have been alone, you, you probably won't be alone for much longer. Or if you are dealing with somebody that has been independent for a while, you know, they may come out of their cave and they may open up and they may decide to come out of hermit mode. If you are honest, if you, or if you were them, you know, there's honesty and integrity is big here. We have somebody here that is very much um, protecting themselves. This person has done a lot of healing. This person has done, done a lot of inner work. And they're quite doing quite, 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 quite well on their own. And it's like somebody wants them to give them a chance, you know, in a relationship. But getting them to let their walls down is going to be a challenge. So, um... We got somebody also here that is, has been experienced some pain. 
and now they just don't trust. I mean, it's the same kind of message. They really, 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 really don't trust. But there is going to be an opportunity for love here. It's like you're going to, or you're going to either give it or you're going to receive it. Could go either way. Will this person accept it? Will this person accept it? That is the question. They may. They may. If, if, with a big, they may. They may accept it because, you know, um, love rules love rules and if you come towards this person with a really big heart kindness and compassion you know they may accept it they, this is a if you come with a big old you know big heart and you let that heart you know you show them your big heart i think they will accept it i do i think they will accept it um yeah, I think you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I really feel like it's the fire sign that burned, burned the other person, you know, or burned you. I think that was the person that did the, uh, whatever, the dirty. I'm just being honest with you. I and mean, that's what I see. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. That's what I see. Um, if somebody has been independent, I don't think they're going to be independent for very long. I think there is going to be a heartfelt offer of love. That will be presented. And if you go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, which I saw, I do feel like it will be accepted. But getting this person to trust is going to be a challenge. And you will need to be patient and kind and compassionate and honest and truthful and open-minded. And that is what I got. This could lead to marriage. Good luck.